Hank Green in his most recent video asks the question of how much a human life is worth. Now he looks at many an aspect of economic stuff. I can't summarise it any better than you just just watching the video. So just watch that video. Enjoy. <laughs> I want to look at this question in terms of literature. The fact that there are so many genres of literature that lead us to question ourselves and others and the way our lives are lived and the way we treat others and everything like that. If you look at things like the Bible or any other religious text or just plain entertainment literature, these questions are asked. While watching Hank's video, the one thing that I was really thinking about was this play that I'm studying in German called Der Besuch der Alten Dame, which means The Visit of the Old Woman, but in English it's just called The Visit. This play was written by Friedrich Dürrenmatt, who I believe is meant to be part of sort of the epic theatre realm of, of theatre. I don't know much about the type of play, but it is a tragic comedy, and that basically means it's a tragedy, and it's also a comedy, and that merges together pretty well. He's basically this guy who was living in post-war Europe and he was writing around 1950s, that sort of time. He studied literature and philosophy at university, probably giving him a good grounding onto the whole moral questions about life and how we live it and that sort of thing. He'd also obviously experienced the whole war thing, which makes you question a lot of things I've uh, <laughs> heard. His dad was a Protestant priest, and he said Pfarrer, but no, that's the German word. And his grandfather, Ulrich Dürrenmatt, was a pol politician guy. G you kind of get the sense of what I'm saying here is that he was surrounded by opinions. So, so, so many opinions. And that probably influenced how he wrote his plays and how his mind worked. What I find so clever about this play is the fact that Dürrenmatt uses this idea of putting a worth against life and also this idea of redemption and guilt, and also comedy, which is always a good thing. The premise of the story is that Claire Zakanassian, a former resident of Gullen, um, comes back and she's basically super rich now. The Gulleners are very poor, extremely, extremely poor, as in so, so poor. They're in absolute poverty. And that's a really key point of the play. It's not until you really delve into the story and get to know the characters and see it on stage even that you realise that these people are normal people and the way they talk and the way their actions are driven are just like the way our actions are driven. The question proposed to the Gulliners is that she will give them a billion pounds or dollars or whatever to the Gulliners for the death of Alfred Ill. One of the really interesting elements of this book is the fact that Claire Zakanassian sits for a lot of the play in the balcony, kind of in the audience in some interpretations of the production, and watches the whole thing happen, watches everything unfold up until the last few moments. There is a sense of timelessness in the visit. It's not about it all happening suddenly and it's not about it even happening over a stretch of time. It's about the fact that these people are driven by need for money to perhaps commit this crime. Duramat here is trying to put a price on justice and a price on someone's life because they cause someone else misjustice. I think it's so interesting that you can read or watch something like that and think, ha, huh, it's just a play, but then you look at your own life and what you'd kind of do in that situation and it makes you feel like a crap human being. We were talking about it in class yesterday and one person came out of it saying yeah this book made me feel shit and the other person said I, I, it's just a play it doesn't do that sort of thing to me. I think that's what's great about human beings because some people will sort of see it pessimistically and some people will see it optimistically but ultimately it does make you think something about it. It's either such a ridiculous idea that we would kill someone in order to uh, gain some money, or it's a, uh, oh dear, we might actually do that. I don't think there are many people that would come out of reading The Visit thinking, yeah, we would never do that, never. Uh, pff, yeah, it's really real, but we'd never do that. We do like to put worth on things, but perhaps the reason The Visit feels so ridiculous is because we're putting a price on life. Can we do that? I don't know.